good morning everyone david good morning and good morning uh ben thank you very much for sticking with me so wonderful uh stefan good morning to you wonderful people that is good wonderful <laughs> Whew, now i can start okay sorry wonderful people for uh you know inconvenience again i was ready actually uh, 10 minutes before we started, I checked all, I checked the sound, I checked internet, I checked the speed, I checked the connection, I checked everything. But for some reason, for some reason, it just it didn't work out. Let me check uh, if I connect it right now on uh, uh, Instagram. And looks like I am. Wonderful. Uh, great. Eugene, Ivan, thank you. All right. Now, uh, I had a, a wonderful surprise yesterday. All right, I want to tell you something, okay? A wonderful surprise. And it has to do with my favorite tools, okay? And uh, uh, if you know, uh, I really love tools. Uh, and like every woodworker, you know, who don't like tools, okay? Everybody loves tools if you're really serious about woodworking and uh, wood carving. And uh, yes, wood carvers, it's, uh, you know, wise people. Well, I should I should greet you differently. I should greet you. Good morning, people of wisdom. Good morning. Good morning to you, people of knowledge and understanding. Uh, so that is proper way. But anyway, uh, Celso, buenos dias, como esta? So wonderful. Okay. Oh, you're from Brazil. You're supposed to say different. Okay. I apologize. So now, but anyway, so the surprise has to do with the tools. Uh, Ashley Isles was for a long time uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, tool maker. Out of uh, all of even uh, English uh, tools, uh, there's a Henry Taylor, there's a Robert Sorby, there's a other brands also. Steel is excellent. It's just a Sheffield steel. It's just absolutely uh, gorgeous, okay? And uh, yes, uh, after that, I would say probably... Uh, from European part, um, uh, my second choice was uh, Oreo. Uh, Oreo is a French brand which I really love. Uh, but there's a limitation with Oreo. And the first batch when they uh, got the first tools, I bought all of them. Uh, and they were absolutely the best of the best of the best. That's uh, Oreo tools, okay? Now, Roy, good morning. So... Uh, uh, after that, after audio, I would just uh, probably get uh, on the same level file and to buy uh, and two cherries. I would say it's uh, about the same. Two cherries is actually a little different. Uh, uh, two cherries and a lamp from Germany. It's a good brand and I love them. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, after that, uh, my cheaper brands, uh, I would say, uh, you know, for just the cheapest, cheapest price, I would just go probably with the shaft tools. And uh, maybe I would go also with the beaver tools uh, from Ukraine. It's actually good. Uh, Stree is good tools, uh, really good and inexpensive tools. Um, uh, I was contacted uh, by one of the companies um, just a few weeks ago. I didn't want to say that out loud. And they making a professional level. I mean high-end wood carving tools high-end wood carving tools absolutely high-end okay so we're talking about uh, uh, the steel they use it's a high-end steel and it's forged it's not just uh, uh, like a file and uh, to buy and uh, other brands uh, audio though audio though also supposedly uh, forged steel okay yes Celso, you speak uh, Portuguese. I should say in Portuguese, Dios protege. But uh, let's go back to tools. And I've got a box yesterday with some of the tools. All right. And honestly, honestly, I did not expect that at all. Okay. I'll show that to you. But I'm not going to tell you a brand. That is a uh, you know, the box with the tools. I've got six tools, actually, you know, uh, with that brand. And by the look of it, you can't actually say and uh, understand what the brand is because you don't know. You really don't know that, okay? It's made in my motherland, Russia, okay? This, in this case, is a number five. But the quality of it, I did not expect whatsoever. It's just absolutely... I mean, people, honestly, 
honestly, it's the best. What I, I mean, the best uh, of the best, pretty much. And uh, I, I, yeah, I did not expect that. In all, uh, I left Russia about uh, you know 25 years ago, like a quarter century ago, and uh, I didn't expect the level, uh, the level what I'm gonna get. All right. And yes, I've got, uh, like I said, uh, six tools, uh, but uh, I'll tell you the big difference uh, in those tools. I'll tell you the big difference, okay? All right, let me show that to you, all right? Uh, from the back side, just assess Russia. But uh, I'm going to pull uh, one of the tools by file. Let's say if I'm going to pull any any of the tools pipe file and i'm gonna show you and compare right right here like a spoon right that is a spoon all right so and let me compare those and you will see why i love it why i love it okay advantage number one advantage number one this file is a full size okay uh, there is a, such a thing as a, a shorter version, a European size file. So right here is a shorter version. Okay, so it's also file, but it's a shorter version. This is a full size file. But look at this one. Okay, look how long that is. Okay, it's a full size. Secondly, the quality of uh, inset itself. You know that uh, when you look at it, when you look uh, from above, it's just a uh, perfect. Okay, it's just the perfect. And let me show you opposite side. Let me show you opposite side. Okay, right here. All right, so take a look. It's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to take it uh, uh, to my board or whatever, not the board, but the <laughs> whatever that piece called. And I'm um, going to show you how it works. Take a look. I mean, out of box, I just out of the box. It gives me absolutely beautiful clean cut. Although, of course, I need to commission to my taste. Um, well, I need to take out my watches. You don't need to see them, but I really, really like it. I really like it. All right, let me show you closer to you, for you can see the quality of cut. Can you see it? Absolutely no effort, effortless. It's just beautiful, beautiful tool, okay? Beautiful tool, all right? But don't ask me, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what brand that is. It's too early. Uh, in future, I'll tell you, because right now you can't get it yet. Uh, you can't get it in the United States. Maybe, okay, maybe. But we have to wait. Uh, but um, now, uh, Yaroslav is asking about an, uh, uh, another brand. It's a Czech brand, Narex. Uh, I did not have too much experience with the Narex. Uh, yes, I'm familiar uh, with the tools. I was holding them. I was carving with them, uh, the Narex uh, tools. I think it's Czech Republic uh, that's uh, the maker of Narex. Uh, and uh, some people in my school, uh, they do have it and uh, they say good things about it. I don't know too much to give me, I mean, to give you an opinion, okay? So it's the tool and uh, probably for people, uh, I, I mean, there's a lot of people actually carving with the Narex, okay? But uh, 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 I have to be honest with you, when I compare, let's say, file, uh, to the Narex, uh, I would go with file probably just because of uh, uh, you know the construction of the tool. It doesn't mean the Narex is uh, uh, worse or uh, better. It's not. I just not that familiar. Okay. Wonderful, Ahmed or Ahmad. Uh, so that you're saying on Facebook that you love my carving work. Wonderful. Okay, good. So I had a question for a couple times already, and I did not have a chance uh, uh, to answer it. Okay. Uh, if you look at this piece. And it's big, okay? It's big and it's thick, it's huge. And uh, uh, one of the questions uh, I had, uh, am I afraid of movement? If I, am I afraid of movement of the wood? 
and the cracking uh, because it's a huge piece okay it's a huge piece and uh, it is possible uh, there's going to be some expansion and contractions so it's going to be just the puffing and the shrinking okay that's what it is uh, and the wood if you know the little bit about the wood and the construction of the wood not the construction but the uh, anatomy of the wood uh, you know if you look at the log uh, if it's outside log and the rings inside of the log so closer to the outside it's actually going to puff a lot more it's going to just expand a lot more okay on the outside inside of uh, a log like that central rings it's not going to move too much uh, uh, especially closer to the heart and it's actually uh, was a uh, the reason why heart pine was used uh, to support the big manufacturing companies like uh, factories uh, in the United States in 19th century. Okay, so it's most what was used. It's uh, hard as a rock. I had a project actually uh, with the heart pine. Uh, the client was one of the biggest uh, companies. Uh, they do demolishing on the east coast of United States. And what they do, they demolish big, huge, uh, multi-story manufacturing facilities, okay, from 19th century. Uh, and uh, they harvest uh, hard pine posts. And that hard pine, that's actually taken from the middle part of a tree, of the pine, the big trees, I mean, huge uh, trees. And they don't move too much because it's closer to the ring, I mean, to the center, to the heart, okay? And uh, what he does, he would take those posts and slice it, veneer it actually, about one-eighth of an inch, about three millimeters, and he would sell it to uh, manufacturers of wood flooring, okay? And uh, those wood flooring companies, they glued it on top, uh, laminate it on top of plywood and sell it really expensive. It's really expensive uh, flooring, and it's only one-eighth of an inch. And he asked me to carve for him a table for his uh, uh, office, and that was huge. I believe it's like about 12 feet. I do have a picture somewhere on uh, 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 on a Facebook, on my page of this table. Uh, it took me a long time, and I broke a lot of... Uh, uh, a lots of gouges actually while I was carving by hand it's almost impossible to drive a nail in it really hard so but uh, the reason why I'm saying that uh, it's actually applies not only to the pine but it also applies to other trees to uh, basswood uh, closer to the center closer to the center you get in the log less movement is gonna happen closer to the outer part of a log a lot more movement gonna happen Okay, so I hope it makes sense. Now, uh, when I'm choosing boards for myself, uh, you probably should know there's a different ways, uh, a different ways to slice a log. I'm not um, a slicer of the log. Oh, by the way, people on uh, Facebook, uh, if you want to watch me in a full quality, in a full HD, just go on YouTube. It's a YouTube forward slash my last name, Grabovetsky. Okay, Grabovetsky. YouTube Grabovetsky. Okay, so that that way you're gonna be able to watch me a lot better. But uh, let me let me draw that to you. Uh, there's a, a different ways uh, of slicing log, and you will understand later why I'm not afraid of movement on a huge pieces like that. Okay. Uh, short answer am I afraid uh, of uh, movement on this piece oh no I'm not I'm not at all okay even if it's gonna move a little bit it's okay it's okay but I did not have any problem in the years uh, in the years uh, with the movement huge movement of course it still moves it still puffs it still shrinks uh, but let me uh, show you the different cuts different cuts all right so let me show that Okay, uh, if you look at the log, so it does have a rings, okay, it does have rings, and I'm going to do multiple logs, okay, and I'm going to do multiple logs. Like, let me do like three main ones, there's actually four main ones, but there's a four logs. All right, and uh, there is a, such a thing as a plain cut or plain um, sewn, I would say, which is going to be a representation of this. It's going to be just a plain. 
okay? And uh, the way they sew it, they just slice it like this, then they slice like that, then they slice like this, and so on and so on, okay? And go to the center until they get uh, all the boards. But the problem with this slice, when you look at the board, when you're choosing your board, your rings gonna be just like that with the crown, okay? And yes, you will have a, a lot of experience with the movements. It's either, you know, it depends uh, what kind of uh, rings you're gonna get. It's gonna warp, it's gonna bow. I mean, it's uh, all depends, okay? And it's gonna twist and so on, just because that is uh, uh, sewn, which is called just a plain sewn, okay? The next one, uh, it's a quarter sewn, okay? Quarter sewn, it's a quarter like a quarter, like a, a quarter money, <laughs> you know. <laughs> quarter sewn, okay? And the way it's uh, working, it's actually a log slice like that. And uh, then only this part and that part pretty much is used. But the rings gonna be like this, okay? So if you look closer, so the ring is going to be like that, okay? And uh, also there's a rift cut. And the rift cut is a little different, okay? So it's actually uh, uh, about the same. So they still cut like this, but what they use, they're using only outer part of a cut, only this part. The quarter sewn using this part and a rift cut using outer part. So guess which one is going to be moving a lot more. And there's also live zone, okay? This one is a live zone, okay? Or live zone. I think live or live. I don't know how to spell it, guys. But anyway, so it's actually just a plain slicing like that, okay? Just like that. So four main slicing uh, the, of the boards. So uh, it's also going to have a lot of, lot of, movement okay this one is not the best that one is not the best sometimes rift cut is okay okay that one is okay but the best of the best is a quarter sewn okay quarter sewn material so quarter sewn material uh, because um, again closer to the center you get tighter rings gonna be and it's gonna be a lot less movement a lot less movement so this one is not gonna move as much so uh, choices when I'm buying wood I'm getting those two either quarter sewn or uh, rift cut okay hope it makes sense if it does make sense please let me know okay okay let me know in the chat please all right so let me see let me see uh, yeah John reward uh, you buy your file tools and woodworker specialties uh, from Canada I, I I know the guy actually I communicate with him yes you can get a uh, little cheaper prices right there and uh, someday I probably can uh, uh, link it to you too uh, but anyway so uh, do you understand what I'm trying to explain so when I'm buying a wood I'm actually looking for a rift cut and better yet quarter sewn okay quarter sewn but it's not the only uh, way to prevent movement, okay? So, for example, I've got like a, a four blocks of foot right here. And let me show it to you, okay? Let me show it to you. All right? Just because, well, before I show, I'll just uh, switch that to uh, my board. So, please understand, this is not a solid board like a, from one piece of wood. It's not solid chunk okay so i laminated that i glued those pieces together three layers i've got layer number one on the bottom like two inches then i've got layer number two two inches then i had uh, layer number three two inches it's gonna go all the way to this point okay so the highest point right here uh, it's six inches from the bottom okay so that is the highest spots so it's a six inches thick right here if you just uh, measure it from this point to the bottom okay and uh, I laminated that together but also I did not have a board wide like you know like that it's like about uh, uh, 25 inches you know all the way to this point we're talking about uh, 
really long, like almost, uh, I mean, closer to the meter almost. It's going to be right here, okay? So 25 inches, 26, something like this, okay? Don't remember exactly. But uh, uh, you can see glue lines everywhere, okay? Those are glue lines. Maybe you can detect. You usually don't see it, but, uh, you know, uh, but there's a glue lines, which means I took boards and glue together, like three boards together. Okay, so there's a three boards and there's a, some four boards, there's a two boards. And uh, uh, how I stack it, it also makes a big sense, okay? Uh, so, a uh, glue ops mark is actually more stable, okay? So, you asking, uh, are the glue ops more are less stable uh, in my case it could be both okay it could be both it all depends how you glue them together okay how you glue those bo boards together okay let's say um, uh, I've got like a representation that is going to be the edge of the board that's the edge of the board and uh, you can see um, there's the rings okay just in case if you don't see that good I'll just uh, exaggerate the movement or whatever it moves direction okay so it all depends how you glue that together okay let's say if you're gluing just the two boards and you've got the rings rings going that direction and you got the rings that direction so if you glue wrong way if you glue wrong way let's say that way and the ring is gonna go the same direction so it's gonna be even worse it's going to move a lot. So it's going to move a lot. So what you have to do, you just have to alter. All right. So you have to alter the direction of the grain. You creating that type of effect. So the next board, you have to glue opposite direction somehow. So you have to find the right board and see in this case, my ring is going that direction. So, and if I would glue it wrong way, again, if I would just do exactly the same way like that, it's going to move right in the middle all right so i have to find the right position i have to flip and just to check what the ring is doing okay and uh, next just like that so it's actually creating a wave if you i mean if i can exaggerate that it's just a wave form just like that okay let me get a marker uh, like a red marker and you understand a lot better so what i did i created that type of wave Okay, when I'm gluing, if it's just a thin board like this, but in my case, in my case, it's a thick board and uh, it's not only uh, when I'm gluing like that, I'm also trying to figure out what is going to be the best position when I glue those boards together. And uh, uh, I never also place glue ups closer, you know, to the opening like that. So I have to do almost like a brick laying, okay, something like this, okay, so that way that way even even if i have to use only only a certain part of it uh, let's say uh, only that is going to be used this part is going to be used so it's still going to be a lot more stable okay so a lot more stable so it's it's not going to move as much it's uh, number one uh, let me know please if it makes sense or not okay if it makes sense or not Alan, how's uh, England today? How's uh, weather today? Good to see you, Alan. Okay, great. So, the, uh, makes sense or not? So, it's number one. Okay, but also, please understand, if you look at this work, if you look at this work, it, uh, I mean, yes, I glued six inches together. Yes, I glued six inches together, but I'm doing a lot of excavations. Okay, I'm uh, actually breaking those fibers. Uh, uh, by just excavating so and it's already uh, preventing me from cracking and uh, expansion and construction I mean contractions just because it's not the solid board anymore so there's a no strength inside of those fibers nothing gonna pull me anymore let's say between those two uh, ridges when you look at this detail there is a cavity there is a cut so I'm okay if it's gonna expand and uh, and uh, 
uh, if it's going to shrink in this area, it's not going to crack. It's because it's a small detail and I'm okay. It's still going to be developed right here. If uh, right there is going to be just a little bit of movement, but it's not going to pull a lot. Okay. So it's not going to create the crack. So it's, it won't. Okay. But on another hand, on another hand, uh, uh, I do understand there's a different types of, uh, 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 projects and there's a more solid less solid uh, in my case I'm doing a lot of deep excavations and uh, when I'm doing a deep excavation when I'm doing a deep excavation I'm not sure if you saw that or not uh, uh, the camera was a uh, little zoomed in but when you're doing a deep excavation uh, so you preventing movement okay if you're doing less excavation excavation then it's going to be a little more movement it's still i mean the movement itself is just because uh, the wood is just like a sponge it takes water okay if there's a moisture in the air uh, so it's going to just uh, get that water in and uh, once it takes the water in it expands you know it just uh, expands out it buffs out uh, i mean to be easier uh, uh, let's say if you have a really, really, really humid uh, summertime, a lot of rain, absolutely it's going to expand, it's going to puff. Sometimes, you know, it's really, really, uh, you can't prevent that. Uh, and if you have a dry winter time, so then it's going to shrink down. Okay. And uh, living in Russia, what we did, we would take boards outside because uh, we had, uh, like, like I said, 30 below, 40 below, 50, 53 below zero. I remember my childhood, it was 53 below zero. I take that board outside, what happens, uh, uh, you know, that water which was inside accumulated during the summertime, it's actually frozen and then just the water expands, everything just gets out of the board and it really becomes dry. It's a, like a freeze dry. I mean, I'm not sure if uh, you can say that or not, but uh, it's uh, the one thing, okay? Uh, one thing, it's just the one you glue in the boards together uh so you preventing that movement so it's a lot better okay a lot better especially for example when i did uh, uh for example I, I mean i showed you those lines okay i showed those lines okay it's a it's a solid uh it looks like a solid uh, block but it is not okay it is not if you look closer there's going to be some glue lines and it's staying right there with no movement whatsoever uh, it doesn't move it does not move okay just because uh i alter altered my direction of the grain uh, second uh, i mentioned already before uh, there is a two types of um, there is a two types of uh, uh, drying methods uh, one of them is a kiln dry which is uh, normally used by manufacturers and lumber yards they have a big 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 stove i mean to be simple okay and they dry i mean they fry it okay they really fry those boards uh, it's a kiln i mean uh, you can uh, dry it really quickly and sell it okay it's also actually gets the water out uh, and there's a second method which is a air dry uh, and that method was always my preferred method it's just that it takes time and naturally naturally just uh, uh, drying okay so what happens uh, those fibers when you cut the tree they still alive Okay, they still alive and they suck water uh, much quicker. Uh, longer that tree was harvested, what happens? The fibers drying out and they don't take that water anymore. Uh, they're not fresh anymore, okay? They don't take that much water. So some of my boards I keep in my shop for over 10 years. And some of them actually I have like 20, uh, uh, 24, 25 years. I mean, some of the boards I'm keeping unique ones. Okay. And I have uh, a really unique ones, uh, French uh, lime wood, which is a uh, rift cut. And you can still see uh, all the flames. It's like, uh, I mean, you can call it the tiger lime wood. Okay. So because it was, uh, you know, cut the right way. Okay. Uh, let me read the chat. And uh, maybe I'm going to catch some of the questions all right okay uh, so one of the questions am I using uh, logs from the same tree or it's uh, from a different age trees uh, will it make a difference uh, a question is great a question is great let me see if I'm gonna be able to pull it okay let me see if I'll be able to pull it Maybe yes, maybe no. 
and uh, let me let me do that so that is a great question actually really really great question okay so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not so I hope to answer but the question is uh, am I using uh, uh, boards when I'm gluing up uh, from the same trees or I mean from the same log or not uh, I don't know because I'm not har harvesting okay the, the answer is simple I really don't have any ability to know uh, from what trees uh, those boards coming besides uh, you know uh, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, yes I am using same supplier okay and the same batch uh, which means when they order it uh, uh, from a log company or uh, whatever the guy hold on just a second okay uh, uh, whatever um, uh, uh, they buying that from uh, let's say uh, there's a different uh, uh, companies they actually harvest that in different parts of United States if we're talking about American basswood and yes I do have a preference between Eastern and Western um, and even United States versus Canadian I like more Canadian side of uh, uh, you know basswood because uh, there's a lot more forest uh, a lot less pollution and that's a really good quality uh, lumber okay uh, but as far as the eastern and western uh, so I, I actually really like uh, South Carolina uh, I really like South Carolina and also I like Wisconsin uh, 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 basswood it's, it's beautiful reason why uh, reason why uh, there is actually big big uh, lumber yards uh, also west like in Washington state but the problem with the Washington State lumber, it's okay when they provide different species. But it, when it comes to lime wood, because there's a lot of rain, uh, you know, in Washington, raining almost um, all the time, uh, what happens, you know, the water always gets inside and the roots pulling out some um, coloration from the earth. And you can see a lot of streaks or strikes, whatever you call it, inside, like a, a gray lines you know uh, uh, in the wood uh, when I'm choosing my basswood I'm using South Carolina and North Carolina basswood because I absolutely almost never see it, those uh, gray uh, strikes okay or you know whatever the coloration goes inside which doesn't really matter if it's stain crate or paint crate okay uh, what is my Andrew is asking what is my favorite carving wood Andrew it's uh, uh, there's a two okay uh, my favorite favorite for carving uh, it's a uh, lime wood which is the best wood or lipa we call it in Russia uh, those I mean this is the preference number one and the second after that is a walnut I really love walnut I really really love walnut okay so let me see uh, Roy is asking can you mention a supplier from thicker timber most suppliers have only short uh, shorter stock yes uh, absolutely uh, well you have to be commercial okay uh, I do have a corporation that's why I do have account with them for a long time when I had a uh, uh, woodworking shop and um, it's actually a cabinet and woodworking shop uh, I had a bigger operation I was able to set up uh, uh, and uh, actually establish relationship with one of the local here in uh, Florida lumber yards for the hardwood but uh, they closed that facility and moved uh, in Orlando okay they still have that in Orlando uh, but uh, to buy from them you have to buy a lot okay so you have to pay thousands of dollars in just the lumber to get that I think you still able to get like a minimum uh, uh, order uh, like a $500 order from them uh, it used to be 300 but nowadays uh, business is harder so you can get like a $500 uh, order from them but uh, they not gonna ship it and they not gonna deliver that order unless if you live just in Florida and uh, you buy you know uh, and if you do have a, uh, a shop big enough to a commercial shop when the semi truck can come yes I'm getting uh, my lumber by semi trucks so they're not gonna deliver uh, locally so uh, check on your location uh, check on your location uh, uh, where furniture makers shopping okay 
uh, and uh, get uh, with them. Also, uh, another thing, uh, you don't really have to buy thick stuff, okay? So you can get just the four quarters material, which is a, a three quarter of an inch uh, material, uh, uh, just uh, in even on Amazon. And uh, there's gonna be, I'll, I'll place a link. And uh, again, just the laminate together, okay? And uh, here you go, you got the, uh, uh, thicker board if you don't plan to spend thousands of dollars for uh, just the best wood okay uh, I, 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 I don't know how many of you doing it for living like I do so you really and if you have a space like uh, I have I mean I, I shouldn't say I have a space <laughs> okay I have no space nowadays it's just that uh, you know I'm not gonna even show it to you but anyway let me read let me read Thank you very much, John. So you are saying uh, that my answer was great. Okay, let me see if I missed any of the questions. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, if you do have an Instagram, if you do have a, a Facebook, just to follow me on a Facebook and Instagram, okay? So just to do that. Uh, it's a woodcarvergrabovetsky.com. If you're watching me on YouTube, please uh, subscribe and like it don't forget to like it really important and uh, uh hit that bell notification just want to make sure if i'm not uh, missing any questions all right join a carving club it's what Ern is saying uh, club gets free wood not every club okay uh, i know some of the clubs maybe uh, you live in new york if i'm if I'm correct, okay. So yes, you can get probably uh, some free wood. But again, what kind of? I mean, how, what quantity? Okay, how big piece can you get? How big chunk can you get? Woodcraft. I mean, woodcraft. They sell uh, uh, thicker boards. Local woodcraft. They're not gonna ship. I don't think they're gonna ship uh, uh, thicker boards. But uh, anyway, I've got few moments yet. Uh, let me uh, get to my wood carving a little bit and. I'm gonna just uh, carve a little bit if it's okay, all right? If it's okay. So I'm gonna, uh, let me show that to you. You know, that is actually opposite side. You saw uh, previously opposite side that, you know, that direction. Now it's gonna be on this one, okay? In that direction, all right? And uh, I'll, I'll just uh, make a few cuts because I really wanna do something, okay? Wanna carve with my hands all right and i'm gonna take uh, number 11 uh, number 11 and uh, 5 eighths of an inch 15 millimeters and i'm gonna just uh, make my first cut just at least you know just at least one cut all right all right so it's just outlining it's just the outlining so cut number one and let me actually also establish a little better movement right here okay so because uh, i don't like what i see so i need to chop a little bit uh, this section all right and my preferred way i'll just uh, use a, a chisel okay which is a number one and a skew 22 and a half degrees all right and meantime, if you have a question, I'll just uh, uh, read it, okay? Carve with Russian tools. I will. I will. Just a second, okay? See the beauty of a uh, knife and a chisel cut? I can actually pretty much establish any form really quickly. And because it's a skew, it slices. Okay, now carve with Russian tools. 
Hello, Mr. Bahrami. Okay, let me carve with the Russian tool. So I'll take uh, number nine. Okay, but before I take number nine, I don't want to make mistake. Okay, because I need to make sure I'm just doing the right movement. So that is going to be a big development of Acanthus. It's going to be a division right there. And uh, it's going to be a big movement right there. And yes, I can probably do that. All right. Well, let me do it. Well, uh, the question uh, before I started um, streaming today, one of the questions was how to achieve a really clean cut. Okay, really clean cut. What is the best way to achieve it? Number one, so you really have to have sharp tools. Then your cut is going to be absolutely smooth, absolutely smooth. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show that to you. But take a look. It's shiny. Really, really shiny. Because the tool is super, 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 super sharp. And of course, second, I'm even if you don't see, if I'm going to exaggerate my cut, I'm making slicing. I'm make, making rotation cut like this. While I'm pushing, if I'm going to do really like in a slow motion, I'm doing that uh, movement, okay? It's called slicing cut or carver's cut. So carver's cut. So you just uh, rotating. And of course, when I'm doing it quickly, so you don't see that because I, I used to it. But every time, every time, if you just uh, pay attention to my hand, I'm just using my muscles on my hand, but I'm actually doing a rotation just like that. See, uh, it rotates uh, on its own, okay? All right. So let me do a second cut. I'm actually doing a just a shaping it. Shaping my acanthus movement. Oh, I probably should uh, give you some music in the background. Oh, yesterday, uh, yesterday I had a claim uh, uh, from YouTube uh, that that music, somebody else has claimed that, uh, so the copyright, but I had to prove it that that is actually bought licensed by me, so I do have a license to use it. I don't know why, you know, somebody's tried to claim my music that I own. But let me see if I missed any of um, chat. Ireland. Good to see you from Ireland. Andrian, good to see you, okay? Wonderful. Uh, hello. Uh, do you test piece in clay first or do you just go for it? Oh, that is actually a wonderful question. Absolutely wonderful question. Uh, I had... Uh, two periods in my life okay uh, when I just start with a piece of wood and I carve it and yes I was able to achieve good results but more experience I get I think I'm gonna be able to make mistakes if I'm gonna take just a chunk of wood to be honest with you on a sculpture like uh, those lines Again, I, I'm going to pull those lines, okay? Uh, so those lines, I actually had uh, I actually had to do uh, clay modeling. So the clay modeling is actually important. And the, those lines, I've got all the uh, filming done, all the video material for those lines. And I'm going to post it to school only. But I started, actually, there's already a few segments uh, how I clay it. I mean, what clay I'm using and so on. Yes, I'm uh, absolutely. I clay it first. I mean, I'm using clay, model it, and then I carve it from it. If it's complicated sculpture, okay. Not not the case like uh, what I'm working right now. Okay, not not in this case. Okay, not in this case. Hope it answers. I know it's fast carving. Absolutely, I have to make money. You know, it's a. <laughs>
okay so that would be enough again i'm using just the russian tools and that is just establishing the main form So the question was, uh, do I use any machines also uh, to expedite my process? I don't. I absolutely don't. Because machines, they don't make uh, me carve quicker. Okay? So they don't. I can do a lot quicker sometimes just uh, by hand. And maybe I have to exaggerate right now this movement even more. And this movement a little more. Right. And there's going to be a main division. There's going to be a main division right here. And let me use uh, again just those uh, Russian tools. Beautiful tools. I have only six of them right now. Uh, I'm gonna get more, but I have only six of them. But like I said before, I was really surprised. That is probably the best ever I, I had in my life. Besides the first gouge I got from my teacher. So I still keep it. So that uh, is also really good. It was really good. That is a main form, main shape, main shape. It's not the final form yet, but you can see uh, I'm able actually to do really quickly. And don't forget to comment, okay? I mean, uh, it's it's important. Uh, just uh, write something in the chat. If you like it, give me thumbs up, please. If you don't like it, just get out, okay? But anyway, so uh, I need to reestablish my center line. Center line. And uh, maybe I can just uh, able to do uh, some of the uh, divisions right now. So the, the division, what I have to establish, uh, those are the pipes. It's going to be right here. And all the pipes are supposed to go to the center. And I really love uh, really thick and big pipes. Okay, uh, in this case, because uh, I have to be authentic to the Venetian style. And uh, now Russian tools not gonna fly because I don't have a tiny tools yet from those guys. I'll just use uh, number 11 and seven millimeters and I'll just get my cut all the way, all the way right there. Okay. One. And I'm going to go exactly the same on opposite side. And another cut. And I'll go all the way right there. And this way too. I actually able to use uh, my new favorite brand on this side.
again i need to exaggerate you know a little a little more uh, you know those pipes because it doesn't look good спасибо большое и вам благословение тоже i answered in russian language all right but uh, so to do that i really need to get much deeper on the sides of those pipes okay and i don't have too much time left in a few seconds i'm gonna say goodbye to you all to all of you Okay. And again, my new favorite. Let me show you an overall picture for you just to see how it develops in overall and let me see if there's a, any new comments or something. Uh, Ryan said uh, Willock never uses power. Well, uh, I, I, I don't use uh, any power tools and all because first of all, with the power, uh, you know, it, it doesn't create quicker, but the main problem is uh, dust, okay? I really don't like dust. All right. So that would be the steps I'm using to develop it. Yes, of course, uh, in real life, I'm carving a lot quicker. For school, I'm doing much slower because I'm trying to explain uh, all of my movements and uh, all of the divisions, uh, what's supposed to make sense and uh, why I'm doing the concaves and uh, why I'm, I really like those exaggerated uh, pipes. And uh, yes, I do like it. And in this case, I would probably switch to back bend, all right, because it's not really convenient. I need to chop out this side a little bit. But can you see the development? Can you see the development? Do I ever carve with the left hand? Uh, James asking. Yes, absolutely, I do. I have to. Uh, I have to uh, switch. Uh, I do right and left, uh, and that's uh, the only way because I can't rotate piece like this. It's a huge piece, and that's impossible for me to rotate. So what I have to do right now, I'm holding like that, but when I'm switching, I'm just uh, using left hand. Yes, I mean, it's... Uh, swapping hands that's what it is okay that's what i'm doing okay so it's called swapping hands you can do that way too just holding at the same hand uh, the handle still stays uh, in the right hand but you're swapping like that it's still possible to do if you if you i mean it's a little more convenient uh switch that way okay but uh the true swapping hands is just like this okay if i do that slow it's called you know swapping hands okay that's it okay and uh, wonderful people thank you very much
uh, Ben is saying, Alex, some say in a museum you can't achieve uh, that level unless you use power uh, to carve some parts of it. No, I'm, I'm not agree with that at all. Uh, uh, absolutely not. Uh, because uh, if you look uh, at, uh, at that work of mine, it is impossible. It is impossible to do by machine whatsoever. Okay. And uh, a machine going to break it. And I did not use uh, uh, any machining in all. Okay. It's almost impossible to do that. Okay. Thank you very much, wonderful people. I have to end right now. So uh, take care. Please stay safe. Stay safe. Uh, hashtag stay home if uh, it's still... Uh, you know restrictions right there uh, i have to mention to you uh, there's a still possibility i'm gonna go to state of maine okay and i'm gonna post a link today actually to that school uh, to teach in person uh, i know uh, just and it's end of may hopefully everything is gonna work out uh, just because of that um, coronavirus going on there's still some available spots if you want to uh, go to Maine beautiful beautiful area of Maine I'm gonna link it I, I'm gonna post the link uh, below today uh, please do it and later on maybe next time I'll just explain a little more okay have a wonderful day blessings to all of you wise people are people of wisdom knowledge and understanding thank you very much